It's not easy being the Australian captain, never is. I battled hard under the Southern Cross that day in India. With the strains of K-San ringing in my ears. Yeah, I felt the weight of the Gallipoli Anzac soldiers weighing on my back that day. But that's what happens when you go to war. I battled hard under the Southern Cross that day. Earlier, when we just got to the ground, I was absolutely rooted. I've been up all night trying to keep up with Warney and Kevin Peterson on Twitter. Oh. But, luckily for me, I had on hand a shot of Johnny Walker, a quick super stumped meal from KFC, and I slammed down a cold sixer of VB. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I freebased 148 Swiss Ultivites. Mate, Cobber, True Blue, I really had my head right by the time I went out to bat. The hopes and dreams of the country I knew were resting on my shoulders. And with that great word, Australia, emblazoned across my chest, I walked out there with only one thing on my mind. I better get a score tonight or I'm fucked. And it was there that I made a totally selfish, I mean totally selfless 100. I wasn't concerned about the run rate. I mean, I was concerned about the run rate, not my average, or what I might go for in the next IPL auction. But, as they say in the classics, well, as Banjo Patterson or Henry Lawson would have put it, it's hard to soar with the eagles when you're surrounded by poofters. I mean, it's hard to soar with the eagles when you're surrounded by metrosexuals. So it's goodbye for me to the old Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. I'll miss all the free sponsors' product. Particularly the ones I didn't really eat. I'll miss having to work for two and a half months of the year. But most of all, I'll miss the quality blokes like Michael Clark. Or as I like to call him, my little floggy flog whistle. Michael Clark, what a bloke. When your whole world is pretty much just a prissy, materialistic, feminine, sponsor-centric, product-orientated, managerial-driven, poofdo solecism, it's great to have a bloke like Michael Clark around who can bring some real prissy, material femininity into it. It just breaks up the day. 